My name is Sonia. I am 12 years old. And I live in Havana, which is in Namibia, in Africa, with my mother and my dad. I go to Havana Secondary School. I really love going to school. My best friend name is Nangula. She is so funny and always makes me laugh. I like drawing, painting, and dancing. I wish I could dance the whole day. This is where I live. We are having dinner together every evening. After dinner, I do my homework. But sometimes it's so dark that I can hardly see the letters in my textbook. That's very tiring and every morning I am sleepy and my eyes hurts. My friend Nangula helps me to fetch the water at the communal tap. Nangula's family has a proper house with running water, therefore she does not need to carry the heavy water bucket. But with her help, we both arrive on time at Tom's art school. We know each other from his daily art project, our highlight of the day. He teaches us so many things. Not only how to draw a picture or to build sculptures, but also to express our daily life in a creative way. Every time we are discussing different topics. This time we talk about our problems in the community and how to solve them by asking questions. This is an example for where we get the information. Yeah. We have a wolf cancer. He explained to us that understanding our situation is like painting a picture. If you collect ideas and information from others, like your family, your friends, the newspaper or even the community council, you get a complete and colorful painting. Getting the complete picture and understanding the whole situation helps you to get an idea where to ask, where to go and how to solve your problems. Tom calls it the right to know, because if you never ask, you will never know. On my way home, I thought about my daily struggle to finish my homework in the dark. I talked to my parents about all the ideas the other kid had to solve this problem. I remember one girl talking about the family on the other side of Havana, who had no electricity but found a local guy who offers solar panels on the internet. With that solution in mind, we saved up some money. My dad contacted the guy and connected the solar panel on our roof. Finally, I can do my homework without getting tired. Now I understand that knowing things, information and talking to people really can make a difference. Because knowledge is the first step to make a change. And now we are going to deal with our water problem. During the last years, more and more local initiatives started successful pilot projects to introduce solar panels and dry toilet systems in the informal settlements of Namibia. The 28th of September is Access to Information Day. Knowledge and information are power. 
because access to information empowers everyone to think, act, participate and change.